if this is anything like how it was to play this when it first came out if you didn't have a good enough computer. I mean, I've played Doom 3 on some pretty terrible machines. <clears throat> I played it on a machine with a uh, single core Pentium 4 3.06 gigahertz, uh, half a gig of RAM. Intel graphics processor. And this is from before they made Intel processors or graphics processors halfway decent. It still didn't take this long to load. Of course, this is a tablet. Very low-end one at that uses the RCA name, but to my understanding, uh, RCA as it originally was no longer exists, and its name is actually just being used by a Chinese company. Well, here we go, it's fully loaded and it's just sitting there.
theoretically this should run better. I don't know how well it... I mean, I didn't actually turn off any of the quality settings other than flipping on the disabled lighting switch. Which I shouldn't have changed in the first place. Uh, should have tried this first. <clears throat> the usual stuff. Try lowering the resolution before messing with anything else. But I don't know if it's stretching the resolution or what, because it, for a second, looked like it was hitting what I told it to, and then it st stretched the widescreen. Should be running at 640 by 480. Tell you one thing I don't like about this already. I seem to need to have the game installed. all secure areas. If you get clearance for any security zones, it'll download directly. It's important, so don't lose it. I see here that Sergeant Kelly has requested your immediate attention. Head directly to Marine Command. It's just that way. Follow the signs.
Mr. Mars Marine. This briefing is designed to acquaint you with a few of the standard operating procedures here on the Mars Post. First and foremost, chain of command. All enlisted personnel are under the command of Master Sergeant Thomas Kelly. Sergeant Kelly will assign you to a security detail headed by a security chief. Please report to your security chief for all duty-related concerns. While on duty, please stay on your assigned patrol coverage area. All PCAs have been pre-designated to provide overlapping security and maximize efficiency. All personnel must have proper authorization in assigned areas. Be sure to annotate any discrepancies on your security inspection report. Safety is integral to all operations here on Mars. Handle firearms with extreme caution. Never discharge weapons in an area that may compromise the installation's structural Mars integrity. Is a smoke-free facility. Remembering these Please procedures is paramount to your success areas. here on Thank Mars. You for your cooperation. Keep in mind that you represent the greatest fighting force in the galaxy, and your actions are a reflection on the core. Take good care, and good luck on your new assignment.
to Mars City. This facility serves as the central hub for all scientific research, archaeological study, and military operations. Goal number one at the UAC is the safety and well-being of all employees and guests. To help achieve this goal, we ask you to follow all UAC corporate procedures at all times. This includes restricting your movement to areas for which you have clearance. Always remain alert and aware of what you and others are doing. If you notice anything out of the ordinary or just have a simple question, find the nearest UAC security guard. They are here to help no matter how large or small the problem is. Our station on Mars provides a perfect blend of work habitats, recreational facilities, and social support structures. This ensures our goal of providing a true... Miller, you hear about Corporal Allen? 
Yeah, they said he just lost it. Shipped home this week. Lose one, gain another. No shit. I wonder who they're going to move to Bravo Team now. Who knows? I just hope they don't take anyone from my squad. I hate pulling double shifts. I hear ya. Adam Bernays, dated November 10th, 2045. I fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. I did, however, have another odd experience while I was down there. Shortly after finishing the first coupling adjustment, I distinctly heard whispering. When I went to investigate the sounds, I found nothing. I checked the work logs, and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. That experience, the stories I heard from you guys over at the Delta Labs has me pretty freaked out. I'm really beginning to hate going down to the underground maintenance area. People down there have to get off, mumbling, weird looks. The whole place is just plain creepy. I'm always expecting someone to jump out of me. I've secured my tools and the busted modulator in the storage cabinet next to the maintenance elevator. Technicians should use cabinet code 396 to access them. End of log. Sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. I hope you 
follow the sentry better than you followed orders so far. We'll pick up some gear at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, and when you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurt him. Now move out.
for combat. Let me do a radio test. Marsec radio check. Excellent. Good signal. Looks like you've been assigned the decommissioned comm facility. Just follow the main passage through the underground junction and then straight out. You'll have quick evac. And what better way to see the Martian surface than to run across it? Okay, we're all set. Oh. Time, Marine. You need to move out.